each year, BH has been sending grade nine students to Churchill, Manitoba to see the polar bears and to kind of investigate. Uh, it's still in our province of Manitoba, but it's a different world altogether. Uh, polar bears, as you know, due to climate change, are at risk of becoming endangered and, and we don't want to think about what could happen after that. Um, but in regards to wanting to get more involved for the students and make it more of a science trip, um, I've been working with University of Manitoba, Dr. Waterman, and also Cinnabon Park Zoo, and uh, at the zoo is Dr. Peterson. And it's an initiative called the Body Conditioning Program. And the Polar Bear Body Conditioning Program is a non-invasive way of looking at the health of polar bears out in the wild. So these bears don't have to be tranquilized. Students can take pictures and download them into a database and compare them to bears that are known in the database already and also start um, a new database for those that are not in there. And it's looking at, um, there's quite a complex mathematical calculation to do and uh, to do that you need something called a range finder to get the exact distance of the polar bear away from you. You have to calibrate your lenses so they know exactly what they're reading and how far, again, the polar bears are away from you to be able to get and be able to read their body size properly. And um, by doing that, you're able to take specific pictures of different areas of the bear, like a profile of its whole body or even from the back end of the polar bear and be able to do measurements to be able to calculate the health of the polar bear. So uh, this is something I've wanted to do for the last couple of years. Uh, we're able to recently get donations to be able to buy the camera equipment. And so I'm really excited for this year in Churchill. Uh, we go usually over Halloween uh, to be able to start the program and to be able to contribute to this database.